Hey guys, welcome to your monthly reading. Okay, so this is interesting. Okay, so I, I don't actually know. We're going to, whoever's next, okay, you're in the hat. But um, as I was preparing for this reading, okay, um, there was a, okay, there's red alert. Okay, that's what came through. Okay, so just take the messages how they speak to you. Okay, so uh, red alert, that came through. It was uh, a reality check as well, mate. I was freaking out. Okay, so I just, did um what was a cancer video right and uh, I was freaking out uh straight after that because I'd realized okay today because I've got like bookings and stuff um and I've also got personal things to do that which have to be done by the end of the day okay but like literally by close business right and um I freaked I freaked out and I'm like oh my goodness, I'm doing videos as well, I'm not going to have the time right and I was freaking out right and then the process which occurred was I was freaking out in the head, like I was actually really stressing out, like it came on all of a sudden, I'm like, what the hell is going on? And um, I was freak, 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 and I'm like, right, I'm freaking out, I'm getting stuck in my head, there is no reason for me to freak out, I don't want to feel this emotion, okay, I don't want to feel this in the head, okay, because I'm trying to eliminate this stuff, all right, and heal this stuff, um, so I'm like, right, right now, I'm feeling this sensation in the head, right, this is really pretty much a Buddhist approach, right? Eckhart Tolle. But it's, um, I'm feeling this unpleasantness within the mind and I wish to yeah, release it, right? So I did that. I did what I had to do. I came back, all right? I started setting up for the next reading, right? Just cleansing, all right? I was just cleansing it because that's what has to be done. Um, and because I was tossing up, I'm like, do I do this next reading or not? And, um, you know, do I have enough time? And uh, I was cleansing, and then I realized that my reality, or what I thought was my reality, the fact that I didn't have enough time was, it wasn't the case, okay? So I was getting confused and mix up, mixed up with time for some reason. Um, so this could be a timing effect. I just did it here two times, all right? This could be a two-timing thing, all right? Um, there could be two aspects involved within this, all right? Um, so this is a reality check, and I feel for somebody here, that um, it will be, you'll realize this, okay, and it's coming through as it's no cause for concern, okay, it's not a cause for concern, okay, so we need to drop that worry, because the process which just occurred for me was an ab absolute freak out, okay, I was really anxious and stuck in the head, and then I had the reality check, and I'm just like, I've got nothing to worry about. Okay, I have nothing to worry about, okay? So this could be you too, all right? So just keep that in mind. Uh, let's get our, you know, mental thoughts and processes under control, guys. I'm really hitting, hitting that, you know, making the positive difference and healing oneself and being responsible for oneself, okay? Uh, this lap of readings, all right? So who's that? Taurus. Taurus, all right, here we go, right? All right, Taurus. Let's do this, guys. All right. Um, all right. Okay, I just want to tell you guys I have a beautiful incense on today. All right, I'll show you what it is. It smells so good. I think I've shown you guys this before, okay? But, I mean, I, I use all different types of incenses, all right? But this is really, like, earthy, fragrant, beautiful, and top quality, okay? So it's right up your alley, Taurus, if you're into this stuff. If you're not into it, that's cool. But um, just saying, all right, just saying. Um, we're going to do lemonade, all right? Let's get into it. Doris, oh, oh! I just got a bit, just got a bit scared, right? I just got a bit scared. That's okay, right? Okay, all right. We've got the snake. Okay, snake represents something sus. Can't be trusted. Snake in the grass, maybe. You may be feeling like this. Okay, um, something sly, maybe. Um, it could be to do with either an ex, okay? I'm just gonna say it how it is, all right? So this can represent exes, this can represent things such as mother-in-laws, no offense to the mother-in-laws if you're a cross-watcher, all right? But it also can mean doctors as well. So we're looking at heavy symbology here, okay? Now the reason why we say doctors, just to explain this, okay, is because of the um, the medical symbology. Okay, you know the, 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 the stick or the pole, okay, and the snakes, okay, that's the symbology, okay, that is used, it's, um, you know, for medical, it's used, you know, medical center logos, things like that, okay, so that's the symbology that we use, 
okay and um hidden as well because snakes are easy to step on okay and honestly i've grew up on a farm and I've stepped on a snake too and I bloody ran for it okay and I couldn't see him I thought he was a bit of poly pipe mate but no he was, he was a red belly black snake <laughs> all right um, okay so it happens okay so mind your step watch your step okay look at everything all right we've got um a relationship and agreement or a contract which could be involved okay so let's look at this stuff all right let's look at this stuff we could be worried we could be concerned about this all right so this is about taking a deeper look being auth okay authentic someone needs to be authentic to themselves okay within this situation um and be true to themselves in their own way okay end of story um but this is about worries anxieties this could be uh representing things such as paperwork if this is paperwork check the bloody fine print mate check the fine print all right someone is supported here from the other side i've got a hand on the back here Okay, so we're talking about, um, you know, past loved ones. Okay, someone is supported here, all right, to be able to achieve. Um, I just had a sense of something rushing up to me. Okay, so um, if you have that, okay, I'm really picking up that someone is having, um, oh, yeah, I just saw an orb as well. Um, okay, cleanse, ground, protect. If you feel like you're having um, troubles with the ghosties, all right, or if you feel like your house needs a cleanse, okay, get onto that. Have a Google search. You can you, you, use all sorts of things okay there's a lot of ways to go about it um so house cleansing look at it look at it okay or energetic cleansing um you could be receiving communication as well um but obviously it's um you are in control okay we don't live for the other side okay being a medium okay um the uh, the people which are on the other side don't tell us what to do okay we are in control of ourselves 100% of the time we make our own decisions okay and they have to listen to us too so if you're actually having troubles with this sorry guys I'm going off on a tangent but if you're actually having trouble yeah if you feel like you're having trouble from you know the spirit world or stuff like that they actually have to listen to us okay that's the law that's what goes on you tell them to leave okay tell them to leave and know that they've gone away okay um, but there are other ways to do it to get your confidence up too all right um, all right yeah this is about confidence they're showing me confidence okay confidence in this all right uh whatever the hell the how that speaks to you in whatever aspect of life we've got a masculine energy okay who's not in their power okay otherwise this is if this isn't talking about a masculine energy this is talking about action okay um oh my goodness we've got two of them <laughs> we've got two of them right um i don't know how to feel about this mirror image they're saying Okay, there's mirror images here, okay, which is quite interesting. All right, ah, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, all right, so I'm actually seeing, like, I don't know why, but I'm seeing some sort of magazine here, okay? Um, so this is about, this could be about taking time out as well and looking at things um, and being distracted as well. That could be a deal. Um, on a separate message, there's so many messages in this, guys. Just take it out, Rolls. We've got a friend, okay, or a friendship uh, here, which seems to be within its power, okay. Um, this can be a pet as well. This could be a deal, all right. And this is like almost like split personality type thing going on, all right. Uh, two faces, two sides to things. It could be a deal. Um, whatever this dog, doggy dog is, all right, is um, seems to be within its power and seems to. It, I'm getting a sniffing out, sniffing out. All right, whether that's literal or symbolic, we're sniffing stuff out, right? Okay, if this is you, we're going to get an Ascended Masters, okay, because we want to know the higher learning within this. So we're going to pull it first off this, all right? Okay, confidence. On the bottom of the deck, we've got you can do this, all right? So do it. Do what's right for you, right? We've got spiritual law of attraction, and it's within its power, okay? So let me explain. <laughs> All right, this is about what we're bringing into our reality, okay? Uh, it seems to be within its power, and it's feeling really good here for somebody, okay? Uh, this is feeling like um, you are wanting to create new things within your life, okay? And it's becoming apparent now. It's becoming apparent, and it's about supporting, all right? And um, knowing, it is coming through as a, knowing your worth or knowing what it is that you want, okay and um this is a deal it's coming to fruition now all right we're starting to see you know the payoff here there could have been storms okay in this situation we could have gone through it 
all right? That could have been a deal. Um, but this is about transformations which are occurring. This is about higher learning, higher growth, and um, becoming who you are. This is who you are, right? This is about who you are. Um, for someone here, this is about lighter and brighter things. This is about taking a light-hearted approach and not letting things get you down anymore, okay? And I feel like someone's really gone through it. Um, standing, withstanding the test of time as well, this could be a timing aspect involved. Uh, this could have been a long time, either a long time coming or, um, you know, long time just involved in general. Uh, past efforts achieved, past a past aspect here. Okay, this could be to do with the past as well, uh, but we're, it's definitely got that forward and moving forward approach into the future, all right? So we are in control of this, okay? We're in control of this, so let's do it. Um, we're going to pull a card off this, and I'm starting to giggle, and I don't know why, okay? I don't know if this is like worth laughing at, whether we've had enough, whether it's absurdity, whether it's, um, I don't know, I don't know. Taking a lighthearted approach, perhaps. We've got the power of joy, Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, so this is great. All right, this is about taking a lighthearted approach. This is about feeling good within the situation. All right, friend might be able to help us out within this. All right, we're getting, I'm really picking up on the Buddha. Okay, the Buddha here. Um, the colors of creation and what we're creating. This is very powerful. All right, with creation and where we're going. All right, so we need to look at this power of joy thing. Um, I I'm still picking up on like a split sense of something. This could be a 50-50 deal, all right, uh, which needs, okay, I just heard a, a, a cause for concern and I'm actually, they're showing me a chili, all right, a chili, which could mean heat or fire, all right. Um, spice, spice up your life, mate. Okay, this, this could be a deal. Um Things could get spicy or saucy, right, uh, as well, in what, however way that, um, you know, speaks to you, okay? It's going to mean different things to different people. Um, this is talking about hearing and listening within oneself. Uh, jealousy, okay? There's, the word is jealousy, perhaps. Uh, well, that's what Spirit's saying, and it could be a deal, right? But this is about lifting and lightening burdens here. And this is about you. This is about you, right? And what you're creating and not allowing other people to bring you down as such or to control you or to manipulate you, right? Right. Okay. Uh, this is upholding moral ethics, right? What is right and what is wrong, um, what you feel is right within the situation, and it's upholding that, right? And it's beautiful. It's coming through as beautiful. All right, so if you can really look at this energy, really look at this symbology, okay? Um, oh. Baby, it ain't over till it's over. Right? Whatever that song is, that's what's coming through. I don't know who sings it. Um, it's an older song, I think. Um, but that song is coming through. Okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those lyrics. Ah, it's an older song. All right? Um, you're going to have to look that up. All right? But that is really speaking. All right? It talks about... Um, you know, crying tears, many tears of cry, stuff like that. And it's like, no more, right? No more. We're really moving into positivity here, guys, joyful and lifting the burdens and healing from the past, all right? And know that um, you are worthy of creation, okay? You're worthy of creation and um, you have the power to achieve it, right? You've got the power. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, bring into a state of balance future worries and concerns, do what needs to be done, get grounded, get real as well, get real. Um, that's a possibility that could be a, a surrounding uh, circumstance as well or a feeling or a motivation behind that, all right? Um, and we've also got a false sense of reality here for someone as well. Or somebody could be dealing with this or you could be viewing this within someone else's life. You may feel this way. Um, it, it could be anything to do with that, okay? So it, it's coming back to firm foundations, okay? And doing what's right for us and what is, it's coming through as personal truth, 
okay personal truth guys and what is your truth okay might not be someone else's truth mate and um this is the thing it's like um it's like everybody has their own truth everybody has their own reality and that's what i believe in okay um and some people may not believe that that may not be their truth okay and that's cool right because everybody is creating their own reality all right all right right we got that we're gonna do um psychic tarot for the heart i feel like someone's going through it okay or um coming to realizations now they're doing a lot of self-healing um so that's the reason why psychic tarot for the heart we'll see what else we can dive on into all right this is talking about willpower guys willpower solar plexus chakra we could be uh having an imbalance but for somebody here i'm feeling like this is the confidence all right this is the confidence this is the willpower this is the getting it done all right, this is about equality and this is about giving and receiving uh, community here for somebody. We're taking the lead within the situation. Um, this is motivation. This is the inner fire. This is the inner passion, okay? This is getting it done, feeling it, going for it. Yes, go you, okay? We've got new vitality in the reverse. This is the equivalent to my magician card. When this card falls out, there could be a sense of um, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're getting it done. We're going to achieve this is it. I'm sick of it. Not working out, right? Um, if we're talking about magician in reverse two, this is someone who can't get it together, perhaps. Uh, there could be a manipulation in some way. Uh, there could be a heavy aspect in here where you're feeling like you're under somebody's control, right? But I'm feeling that that's not happening anymore. That's not, it's not happening anymore, right? We've got well-deserved reward. Oh my goodness, guys. Things are paying off, okay? This could be to do with finances, okay um or payouts payoffs okay um achieving great heights okay we it, it's things like uh stocks bonds and investments as well what we're investing for uh for the future and how is it paying off it is really paying off all right um so this is about moving forward all right we, we seem to be sure of ourselves right and we seem to be standing our ground too okay there's, there's ground there and it's uh being sure of oneself and um, feeling that sense of security and knowingness, um, you know, maybe that this is who you are or this is where you're heading or this is where you're going. The belt here, there's a belt here and it's coming through as like, um, okay, there's several different belts here. Okay, so we're, we've got like a boxing belt, okay, and knowing that, uh, you know, it's not hitting below the belt, all right? It's actually being firm within oneself knowing who you are and if you know who you are if you truly know who you are right um you don't hit below the belt all right if you're sure within yourself and coming from a place of integrity truth and knowing who you are um you can stand firm within yourself without putting other people down right and without belittling other people or circumstances or beliefs okay that's the deal um so look at these things okay and it's also coming through as a belt of truth okay as well so there's heavy symbology there and um it's also tightening the belt the fastening of the belt ready to go right so it's like you know putting the notch dropping the weight right there we go we're moving forward now into the future we've got the sacral chakra here which is in its power also this talks about creativity uh with these two it talks about motivation getting it done integrity right um, putting our best foot forward, making it happen. Uh, this is creative energy. This is sexual expression energy. This is divine masculine and feminine energy. And this is bringing it into a state of balance. Okay. Both of these things, both of these things, maybe this is what we want. Okay. Maybe this is, you know, what we're wishing to achieve within the situation. Maybe this is our reward. Maybe this is what our payout is. All right. To be able to achieve this. Okay. Um, and it's, <laughs> I'll get the giggles up. But this feels beautiful, okay? And this is about equality, all right? This is about equality. This is about equal giving and receiving, all right? This is the deal, all right? Um, we may be caring too much about what other people think, okay? That could be a deal. Um, it doesn't matter what other people think. This is about being true to yourself, right? This is about being true to yourself. Pleasing others is coming through as well, all right? Pleasing others, that may be speaking to you. All right, um, so, oh, okay, they're saying it's a detriment, okay, for somebody here. It's a detriment to please, to please others, right? And I feel like someone's had enough, right? We're coming into a sense of strength now. It's going to pay off. We're going to do some angel cards, right? <laughs> this is about business, okay, getting down to business, knowing who you are, having a game plan, mate, 
and uh, feeling that sense of confidence, right? Not being up yourself either. Um, so this is interesting. Uh, you could be struggling with that sort of energy within your life, whether it's you, someone else, a situation, whatever. Okay, but um, this is about knowing who you are, right? You've got sign from above, all right? So this could be a sign from the universe. Uh, there could be something coming in, okay, that could be like, oh, my God, right? <laughs> Could be direct guidance, all right? Could be a sign. We've got generosity, okay? Generosity could be involved within this situation. This is being thankful. This is being generous. This is being humble, okay? This is being humble. This is, um, you know, saying thank you, but no thanks as well. That could be a deal, all right? Otherwise, this is being grateful and... Um, someone is here for somebody, okay? Someone's here for somebody. Uh, we've got commitment, all right? And this is personal commitment, and I feel like it's about... Commitments on all levels, all right? So if this is you, this could be involving you, this could be involving someone else, this could be about steps being put in place and making the commitment and not getting distracted within the issue or topic or challenge, right? And um, this is about being sure of oneself and taking steps into the future. Okay, someone has definitely got support here. Um, and this is about future accomplishments and future goals. This is what we want for the future, okay? And I feel like someone's getting some divine sort of guidance or some divine intelligence here. There seems to be some sort of higher learning higher guidance, higher directing, higher direction, maybe. Um, it's something like that. It's going to speak to you differently. All right. Uh, we're just going to do one more angel, right? Oh, my goodness. As I was shuffling, I'm like, oh, um, oh my, I'm seeing the card triumphant, right? And I just want to show you, right? Let's get down to business, all right? I just want to show you. We've got... um triumphant okay that's how the cards fell out all right um and that's what i was feeling that's what spirit was showing me okay so this is about things actually coming into your reality okay and using your intu intuition and then all of a sudden it's coming into your reality right so this is a reality check that you might be on the either the right path or the wrong path okay this could be guidance for you all right uh, but to have that card come out is fantastic We've got steady progress, okay? This could be a halt, a stop, and no, no more, right? We've got pause. That's the deal, all right? We could, might be taking a time out, okay? Things could be speeding up too, and we might need to take the time out before things speed up, okay, in whatever area of life that is, right? We've got triumph, guys, seriously, all right, seriously. So let's have a good look at this. If we need to take the time out, take the time out. It's going to work in our favor right? If we need to go with the flow and get something done, okay, things speeding up, all right, let's get into it. It's going to be triumphant, okay, but it's going to speak to you how it speaks to you, so you need to do what's right for yourself, okay? You need to do what's right for yourself, okay, and within your personal circumstance, okay, I'm reading from more than one person here, so you're just going to have to take the messages which are yours, discard the rest, the triumphant, guys. We can do this, we can achieve this, all right, this is what's going on, um, but it's like, um, we're all learning in this, okay, and um, this is coming back to intuition, okay, and um, reality, okay, and what is around us within our environment, okay, so take this as higher learning, take this as higher guidance, okay, and um, this is about what you want personally, okay, and um, free will, and they're saying installed, okay, free will is installed here, right, so this is about personal choices, right, and where we're heading and what we want, Okay, and um, someone here is just like, just going for it, okay, and being true to themselves and what they want, what they require within their lives, all right? All right, this is great, guys. I, I feel like getting down to business, let's get it done, okay? Try not to freak out, okay? I've just gone back into that freak out, okay, and feeling like I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time, <laughs> fact is today... There's enough time, all right? So I feel like this is a, it's a genuine cause for concern for somebody here, but we, I'm telling you, you don't have to worry, okay? If you're feeling rushed or pressured or anything like that, okay, within your personal life, okay, sometimes there are deadlines, okay, but you're going to be aware of it, like things such as work, workplace, you're going to be aware of those deadlines, okay? But if this is just you feeling generally concerned of having to rush or rush into something, okay, I highly encourage you just take the time out, take the time out, you know, buck, buck the trend, mate, um, because, you know, if we're feeling rushed, okay, or if someone's rushing us into something, it's actually coming from a space of fear, 
okay, and uncertainty, and um, there's no reason to operate or be based in fear. We don't need to operate from fear at all, okay. Um, this is about coming from love, understanding, and acceptance, okay, and um, this is for the greater good of all, mate from the greater good of all and um you've got enough time for someone here you've got enough time okay you don't need to be concerned all right uh, anyway i'm gonna leave it there guys i hope you got a message out of this reading feel free to check out any other readings regardless of whether it's on this channel or not i really love you guys like so much i hope you got something out of this i've got like massive heart burst okay just Take, take the love, take the love. I love you guys heaps, all right? And I'll catch you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching, all right? See you, bye.